Tom, the food from the farm tasting event held here at the old gymnasium on the old oval of the former Plattsburgh Air Force Base is in its fifth year. And as you can see by the turnout today, it may be still winter outside, but in here, it definitely feels like summer. And it all started when Amy Ivey of the Cornell Cooperative Extension Agency had an idea. It's really fun to hold something like this right now because people have cabin fever and um, it's fun to just kind of get out and see that spring is coming. And I really like to showcase all the food that's available right now. It's really stunning to see how much fresh and overwintered food is available at this time of year. North Country growers use all kinds of tricks to produce food throughout the long, cold winter. Last year's carrot, how do you store that? We have two tractor trailers we keep at 34 degrees, and we keep those all winter long, uh, as well as beets, rutabagas, turnips, sweet you put potatoes. It, put them in sawdust or anything? No, no, they get, they get dug dirty, and they stay in large bins. We, we put up about 50,000 pounds of root vegetables wow. this year, and we're just running out. So it doesn't matter that it's uh, the beginning of March, uh, winter's pretty much over, and you're selling fresh vegetables from last year. Yep. Yeah, it's, it's what gets us going through the winter, that's for sure. We're making 100% grass-fed cheeses and yogurts, and we also have a cafe on site and uh, a farm store that's self-service throughout the year, and the cafe is open during the summer months. How's business? Business is wonderful. We've got some wholesale accounts that help us get through the, the winter slump, and so we drive our stuff down as far as Albany, but we like to keep it down home and local as well. People here are really seeing that uh, with, with the right care, uh, you end up with a fruit that has great eating characteristics, great crunch, great taste, very juicy, and, it, and it's not at the expense of the quality of the apple in our storage. I think that's very important. Whether it's a, a, a person who has been eating the same Macintosh for 70 years, or somebody new who's trying a Honeycrisp for the first time, we want to make sure that that's an enjoyable experience. Another enjoyable experience is what growers call CSA, or Community Supported Agriculture. CSA is a program in which consumers give farmers the capital they need up front during planting season, and in return they get a better deal on their vegetables. Now I spent the better part of the afternoon sampling many of the offerings, and in doing so, I managed to put a face or faces on the providers of much of what I consume when I do buy locally. And that's a very comforting feeling, to actually know, talk with, and then come to trust the hardworking people who are putting food that I eat on my table. The whole local economy, it takes, it takes both sides, you know. We have to have the food being produced here, but we also have to have the buyer buy it here, too. So by buying local, you're supporting your local farmer, you're suppo supporting the local economy, you know, the farmers buy their supplies locally. And working together, we can make a stronger local economy and be healthier and eat some really great food at the same time. The Plattsburgh Food from the Farm tasting event is held every year on the first Saturday in March. And let me tell you, it's a great way to shake off those winter blues and start celebrating summer. And it's wonderful harvests of great food grown right here in the North Country. I think there's a apple cobbler right over there, has my name on it. For Mountain Lake Journal, I'm Derek Mearden. Bon appetit!